Do you work with handheld or mobile VHF transceivers? If so, this project might appeal. It's an audible VHF handheld transmitter tester. Put it near the transceiver, push the press to talk, and if you're putting out RF, you'll hear a tone. It's completely self-powered, so there's no batteries to run out. And you can build it in just 10 minutes. Watch this video and I'll show you how. There's just three parts needed. A low voltage DC powered piezo buzzer, a germanium diode, you can use a silicon diode as well, although the sensitivity won't be quite as much, and a pickup antenna. I just used a TV rabbit's ears, though if you don't have that, you could just use two pieces of stiff wire, or even an old metal coat hanger. The two lengths you need need to be approximately a quarter wavelength on the frequency that you're using, although that's not really critical. For 2 meters amateur radio, that's two lengths of 48 centimeters long. For VHF high band, including the marine band, it's a bit shorter, around 40 to 45 centimeters. This is the circuit. The diode is connected across the center of a half wave dipole. The RF signal is rectified by the diode converted to DC and sent to the buzzer. Please note that you need a piezo buzzer, not a piezo transducer. They do look the same, except the transducer is a little bit thinner and it doesn't have the buzzer circuitry included in the case. The buzzer also needs to be fairly sensitive. To test that it's suitable, just connect it across a 1.5 volt AA or AAA battery. You should hear a loud tone if the buzzer is sensitive enough. First thing we'll do, just to demonstrate that it works, is to put the diode across the buzzer. The stripe of the diode needs to go to the positive or red lead of the buzzer, and the negative or black lead of the buzzer goes to the other end of the diode. As you can hear, I'm just pressing the push to talk and you can hear a tone. It's not very sensitive like this because I haven't connected the antenna yet. This is the completed unit. It can hardly be any simpler. There's just two soldered connections. Most critical though is the diode is polarized. The band of the diode is on the right and that connects to the red or positive lead of the buzzer. I've extended the antenna out to 48 centimeters per side, so that's a quarter wave each on two meters. I can move the transceiver out to about 50 or 60 centimeters from the antenna and can still get an audible indication on the piezo. If it was much higher power, like if it was 5 watts, I'd imagine it would go about a metre. And with a higher power transceiver, like a mobile transceiver, then it could well be 2 or 3 metres. This has been a simple project that costs only a few dollars to build and uses just three parts. You can build it in 10 minutes. Yet, there's many uses around the shack and beyond. Take it to a ham fest to test a VHF transceiver you're thinking of buying or take it to a fox hunt and use it as a sniffer for when you're really close to the fox. Whatever use you find, it should be an interesting project and I encourage you to leave comments below.